Hello grade 10 mabuhay. So, ito na yung second part ng video natin on division of polynomials. Okay? In division of polynomials, meron tayong dalawang way to divide polynomials. The first one is the long division. And the other one is the synthetic division. Okay? So, para mas mat Maintindihan nyo ng mabuti, ng maigi. Ang i-discuss ko muna ngayong araw ay yung ating long division. Okay. If you're, go, uh, if you're going to divide polynomials, meron kayong mga dapat tandaan bago kayo mag-divide agad ng polynomials. First, dapat... Uh, dapat naka-standard form yung inyong polynomial. Pag sinabi nating standard form, dapat naka-arrange siya in ascending order. Let's say, for example, meron tayong 5x plus 2x squared minus 23. Okay. So, as you notice, hindi siya naka-arrange into standard form. Okay. To arrange it in standard form, gagawin natin siyang 2x squared plus 5x minus 23. Okay. So, kapag naka-ice na siya in standard form, that is the time that you can, uh, that is the time that you can divide, or you can perform division of polynomials using long division. Or, eto pa naman yung next step. I-observe ninyo ngayon kung kumpleto lahat yung, uh, yung degree ng ating polynomial. Let's say, for example, We have 5x cubed plus 2x minus 9. Okay. As you notice, meron tayong raised to 3. Meron tayong raised to 1. So, hindi lang natin nilalagay, pero that's raised to 1. Meron tayong missing na raised to 2. Okay. The next step that you are going to do is to complete the degree of the polynomial. So, ang gagawin natin, 5x cubed, mag-a-add tayo ng 0x x squared plus 2x minus 9. Why? Simply because uh, bago tayo mag-divide ng polynomials, dapat kumpleto yung degree na yan. Okay. So, pag nakita nyo na, kumpleto na yung degree in standard form na siya, that is the time that you can perform division of polynomials. So, sabi ko nga kanina, ang didiscuss natin ngayong top ngayon ay ang long division. Okay. Let's say for example, we are going to divide 2x squared plus 5x minus 23. We are going to divide it by x plus 5. Okay. So, alam naman natin na yung number sa loob, that is what we call dividend. Yung number sa labas ay yung nating divisor. Yung sagot na makukuha natin ay yung tinatawag nating quotient. And yung matitira sa ilalim na matitira sa ilalim na sagot and that ang tawag natin nun ay remainder. Okay. In dividing using log division, ganito lang yan. Okay. So, unahin natin yung first term. Ay, check muna pala natin kung in Uh, in descending order. So, in descending order naman siya kasi pababa yung degree. Aside from that, kumpleto naman yung ating yung degree ng ating polynomial. So, pwede na tayong mag-perform mag ng division. Okay. So, first, 2x squared divided by x. Yun yung una natin gagawin. Okay. You have to review your Uh, loss of exponent. Alam nyo naman na kapag nagdi-divide tayo ng same base, simply, sinusubtract lang natin yung exponent. Okay. So, 2x squared divided by x, simply, we have 2x. And then, after natin kuhanin yon, i-multiply natin si 2x kay x at kay 5. So, we have 2x times x is 2x Squared. 2x times 5 is positive 10x. Then afterwards, yung ginagawa lang na, din natin kapag nagpe-perform tayo ng division of numbers, same lang din siya sa division of polynomials. So, we are going to subtract. Okay, 2x squared minus 2x squared is cancel. Zero na siya, di ba? 5x minus 10x 
is negative 5x. Okay. Bring down negative 23. Negative 5x, i-divide natin kay x, meron tayong matitirang negative 5. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. Okay, we are also going to subtract. Since, since same sign naman siya, we can simply just subtract it. Okay, kapag unlike, unlike sign siya, pwede tayong mag, we change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Okay, so this time, as uh, dahil nga same sign naman, we can subtract. So, negative 5x minus negative 5x is simply 0. Cancel na siya. Negative 23 minus negative 25, we have positive 2. Why? Simply because, nauna yung smaller number into bigger number at same sign sila. So, pag nag-subtract tayo, papalitan, i-reverse -re natin yung sign. Okay. So, 2 yung ating remainder. Itong nasa loob, this is what we called dividend. Ito naman, nasa labas, is what we call divisor. Kapag fraction siya, yung dividend natin yung ating numerator. Yung divisor natin yung ating denominator. Okay. And 2x, sorry, 2x minus 5 is our quotient. So, quotient Sorry. Quotient yung tawag natin sa sagot, sa final answer natin when we are dividing numbers or in polynomial. Okay. Next example, para mas lalo ninyong mas maintindihan pa, let us divide 10x squared plus 24, eh, sorry, plus 2x raised to 4 plus 8 plus 7x cubed divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1. Okay, so this time, kung makikita nyo, 2x squared plus x minus 1 is already in uh, standard form. Okay, itong nasa itaas, hindi pa. So, dapat ito yung mauna, followed by this one and this one. Okay, so meron tayong missing nawawala yung ating variable na raised to 1. So, mag tayo ng 0x. 0x, as ito yung ating pang 5. So, natin sa another sheet. So, we have, so, magiging uh, uh, final natin as na form ay 2x squared plus 7x cubed eh, sorry, 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 10x squared. So, wala tayong raised to 1. So, we have we are going to add 0x plus 8 divided by sorry, hindi pala siya kasha. So, nasa another sheet. So, we have 2x raised to 4 again plus 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 0x plus 8. Okay, divided by 2x squared plus x minus 1. Okay, so, i-divide muna natin si 2x raised to 4 kay 2x squared. So, matitira ay x squared. x squared times 2x squared ay 2x raised to 4. That's it. x squared times x is x cube positive x cube x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared so we are going to subtract so cancel this one 7 x cube minus x cube is simply 6 x cube okay 10 x squared minus negative x squared you change the sign, of, magkaiba ng sign, you change the sign of the subtrahend, so magiging positive na siya, proceed to addition. Okay, so 10x squared plus x squared is simply positive 11x squared. Bring down 0x. Okay, 6x cubed divided by 2x squared is simply 
3x. So, positive 3x. 3x times 2x squared is we have 6x cubed. 3x times x is simply 3x squared. So, positive 3x squared. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. Okay. I'll do the continuation of the solution on the other page. So, ito yung sagot natin. Plus 3x. Okay. And dito naman ay 2x squared plus x minus 1. Okay. Nandun na tayo sa part ng 6x cubed plus 11x squared plus 0x. So, meron pa tayong natira dito na positive 8 na mamaya ibibring down natin. Don't get me wrong, inalis ko lang yung given sa, sa uh, ating dividend para magkasya yung ating solution. Kasi hindi na siya kasya, maliit yung screen. Okay, so ang natira natin dito ay 6x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x. Okay. So, that's it. So, we have 6x cubed minus 6x cubed. Cancel. 11x squared minus 3x squared is 8x squared. 0x minus negative 3x. Change the sign of the subtrahend. Instead of negative, magiging positive. Proceed to addition. So, 0x plus positive 3x is positive 3x. Bring down positive 8. Okay, last step. 8x squared divided by 2x squared is positive 4. 4 times 2x squared is 8x squared. Okay. 4 times x is positive 4x. Then we have 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Then afterwards, we are going to subtract 8 x squared minus 8x squared is 0. So, cancel na siya. 3x minus 4x is negative x. Ito ko na lang ilalagay yung sagot. So, 8 minus negative 4. Change the sign of the subtrahend. So, it will become positive. Proceed to addition. So, 8 plus positive 4 is positive 12. So, this is our remainder. This is our quotient. This Ay, nawala na pala, hindi ko na pala nalagay yung buong dividend. So, para mas malinaw pala. Ay, hindi ko na siya ilalagay pa kasi baka mas malito pa kayo. Kasi may mga, maraming mga na-omit. Okay. So, this is our divisor. Okay. Para mas maitindihan yung maigi. So, ayun yung ating dividend. Ating dividend. Okay. So, dun, dun sa kaninang uh, slide, hindi ko na sinama to. At itong part na to, kasi nga hindi siya kasya sa aking, uh, sa ating screen. Okay, kaya naging, ganyan na lang siya. Sorry. Kaya naging, ganyan na lang siya. Okay. So, that is the end of our uh, top uh, discussion on long division. Uh, the next video, i-discuss ko naman sa inyo kung paano mag-solve using synthetic division. And, we are going to answer problems activities on our K-12 learners module uh, about division of polynomials. Okay, that's all for today. If you have questions, suggestions, feel free to comment it on our comment section. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on my latest video. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and God bless.